Hello everybody! In this video you will learn how to obtain the best horses from the beginning of the game for free. You need one of them because once started the game you have a nice horse but it runs out of stamina too easy. Means that if you want to explore the wild you had a bad time because of this issue that requires to stop the horse and wait some minutes until he recovers all stamina. That is just too annoying in my opinion. To solve this problem you may think to buy one better from the stable, but usually is not so cheap. Without speaking that it's even not the best. Anyway, did you know that you can get one of the best horses in early game and for free? This horse is called Arabian and there are four different types that you can get early in the game without buying them. Three of them can be tamed and one that is the best can be stolen from a specific NPC. Going more in detail, these special horses are Red Chestnut Arabian that has a beautiful red coat. He also has the same speed and acceleration statistics of the American standard bread you can acquire for $150 from the stable. But Arabian has more health and stamina that will make it harder to kill in fights and make him resist more from falling damage. Also, it resists longer time running before get out of stamina. Between all Arabians is the worst, but I prefer this one for the aesthetics. The second you can tame is the Roper Brindlecoat Arabian that has higher maximum speed but has less health. Making is better for exploring but worst for fights. This one has an unique coat, but in my opinion the red one appearance is better. Then we have the rarest in the game that is the white coat Rabian that is gorgeous. Also, from the statistic perspective he has higher health and stamina than the other two, plus the speed acceleration are the best. The last one that you can acquire early in the game is the black coat Arabian that as well is gorgeous. Plus it has slightly better health and stamina, making this one the best horse to have in early game. In particular for exploration, but is also good for fights thanks to its high health. The Arabians in general are good for exploration and fights, while for the hunting they aren't the best because they get easily scared by aggressive animals. In fact, for the best free early hunting horse, you will find another video linked in the end of this video. Now let's talk about where you can find these special horses and how you can take them. Back to the topic, first by first you need to make two main quests of chapter 2. The first can be any of three available in the beginning of the chapter 2. To save time, you can make the uncle's Polite Society Valentine style mission that it starts directly from the camp. Once completed, it will appear in the camp Hosea that will give you the exit pursued by a boost ego quest. This one will unlock the stable and help you get free money if you sell the horse given you by Hosea. You can take this opportunity to buy better horse equipment. Anyway, once completed the quest, get with the Hosea back to the camp, so you will get closer to the Arabians you can tame. Now that you have all in place, it's time to get the special horses. The first is Red Chestnut Arabian, that you can find west from Strawberry City, on the left side of Owania Lake. You can decide if you walk with your horse or just take the coach taxi to Strawberry. Anyway, once nearby the lake, you need to get up the hill going west from the lake.
course will be always in the same spot, so it's easier to find out because it always is the only horse you can find in this region. For the compendium purpose you can use the binocular to study him. Time to tame this beauty. Start walking close to him, but uh, do it uh, by foot, without making uh, too noise, in order to not scare this horse. Now, clicking the I'm button with the fist equipped the lucky weapon, you will see the call interactions that you have to use once it's available. At this point, start walking slowly to the target. In meanwhile, if the horse sometime will shake, use the same button you used to call him in order to calm it as well. A good trick is to continuously press this button. Once enough close, you can pat the horse, do it few times in order to calm him. Now the harder part, you have to mount the horse and beat his wildness. To do so, use the calm interaction when it's available. In meanwhile, hold the S button on PC or down arrow on console in order to stay on the horse. Now, once the horse twists, you need to use the opposite direction movement button, this way you didn't fall down. After a few seconds, the horse becomes friendly and it's time to make it yours. To do so, go to your mind horse. Use the I'm button and then the remove saddle one. Now go to the new horse and try to saddle it. In case you can't, will appear the calm interaction that you have to do before being able to saddle him. Now it's time to get to a stable and leave the older horse in it. So press the H button on PC or down on consoles in order to call the old horse and lead it to the stable. In order to keep the old horse once near the stable, you need to ride the horse without the saddle and go inside the stable with it, otherwise it will be left outside. Also, if you want all Arabians, don't leave the horse just in your camp because it will despawn if without the saddle once you get that hurt horse. With the same method you can claim other two wild Arabian horses. The next one is the Warped Brindle that you can find far north from Valentine and Fort Valence near the Vapiti Indian Reserve. Once cross the Indian Reserve, you have to climb the cliff on the top of which you will find the horse. is work the same way and once it is stable you will see that you can sell him for the same price as the red coat. Next we have the rarest and harder Arabian horse you can tame that is the white one. For this you need to go northwest from Valentine in the cold territory. So I suggest you to take a good coat from the Valentine general shop but is secondary because with some food you can handle the cold weather. Anyway, the right location is near the Lake Isabella, exactly on the northwest from the small island inside the lake. This one is really hard to tame, because at a certain point he will start to run away from you, so it can take several attempts to get enough close to him. 
In case you didn't manage to catch it at first attempt, don't worry, just use it at the eye and follow the tracks how you did in previous quest tutorial when you followed the legendary berry tracks. Back to the taming process, once you get close, don't rush directly or he will run away, but get step by step. Once he jumped on the back foot, you need to quickly mount him, otherwise you can use the lasso to take it easier. It also take more time to be tamed once upside, but once you did, you will have one of the best horse to use in order to explore the wilds. For the last one, that is also the best early horse, is the Black Arabian. For this one you need to go far far southeast from Valentine. In order to reach the bigger in-game city, that is called San Denis. Before going there, I suggest you to get the white version and explore the wilds, and once you get close to the city to take the top horse. Anyway, to get this one, you need to get at the night near the city casino. In case you get to the city too early, you can go in a saloon and rent a room. Sleep here until the midnight. Now go to the casino, where you will see a street robbery that you can stop by shooting the criminal. This will lead to make one point of honor. In case the robbery didn't spawn, go away and come back after 2 and a half am. Once stop its robbery, you can claim the criminal horse that is the Black Arabian. Be careful with this horse, to not kill him while traveling, because you can take it for free only one time. While for the others you can find them always in the wild anytime you come back to where they spawn after several days if you didn't own already the respective horse. You can use this trick to climb more white Arabians and sell them for $48 to the stable. But to make this horse spawn again you need to sell it before. Then reload the game or wait some in-game days before go back to spawn points. Remember that you can increase the health and stamina by bonding with the horse. Now enjoy your free best exploration horse in the game.